Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are uh, rejoining our Mercury flyby mission here uh, in orbit of the sun. It is uh, approaching its maneuver node in about seven minutes to make its uh, second uh, very close flyby of Mercury. It's only going to cost us about 850 meters per second, uh, which I believe we have in spades. Yeah, we've got uh, a little over three grand still in the tank, so we can afford to make a, a bunch of these corrections should we need to. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long the burn is going to take because it won't tell us. Estimated burn time and A because I had the tanks locked when I plotted the node. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But, all right, we are pointed at the node. I'm going to assume, well, what's our thrust to weight ratio here? Uh, it, you know, 0 0.05 because we're in orbit of the sun, which is not entirely uh, the statistic I was looking for. Not a big deal. Uh, I'm sure it's not going to take 12 minutes to do this burn, so we're just going to uh, fast forward a bit in time here. Uh, we'll get it down to about the two minute mark. There we go. Let's ullage up our engine. And light it. Oh yeah, burn's gonna take one minute. Great. All right, well, I'm gonna burn half of it and I'm gonna wait a little bit. We have infinite ignitions on this AJ-10, so it's, uh, it's not like it's a huge ordeal. Or anything like that. Although this is uh, fairly pretty to look at, I'd have to say. All right, I stop goofing around, man. Yeah, 33 seconds out. Let's just uh, go ahead and make sure we're sitting on the node proper. Oh boy, it's being extra extra touchy today. And let's kill it. All right, and let's uh, kill some more time just to. I want to get this node as accurate as possible yeah there's our there's our warning about this uh, node that we're already half executed and all right I'll edge it in we're good light it up fantastic all right I man this thing just does not want to cooperate with me today switch out to the map view there's our plotted trajectory which I would like to see hit Ooh, do we uh, we're close not by much though man nope let's use the end key take that back in bring it back bring it back oh it no not not going to do that anymore, are we? All right, fine. Well, let's just uh, rotate it in. That's... We're getting there. Oh, no. Come on. Stop overcorrecting. I should turn SAS off. Oh, because it's fighting me every inch of this. You just you just don't want to do that, do you? Okay, come on. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to call that good enough. I will probably have to plot another node to uh, correct for that little indiscrepancy, but uh, not too shabby, I'd have to say, for a full half orbit away. Yeah, let me go lock this tank before these RCS thrusters drive us in way off course. All right. That's a pretty solid maneuver. Let's just uh, kill that node and set up Kerbal Alarm Clock. Add alarm. SOI change. 132 days. Excellent. That plays, buys us plenty of time because we do have another maneuver coming up here in about a week. Well, six days. And that is our Venus return project. Has a correction to do to make sure it is on course for Venus this time and not Mars. So we're going to go ahead and jump to ship and take care of that too. Bingo, bango. All right. And it is pretty much just a plane change maneuver. Um, we've, I don't think we've even lit up this uh, core engine yet, have we? No. Nope. All right. We've got uh, 1715. I think that's just from the satellite tanks here that are unlocked. So um, it does look like, I think, just because they're so close to the needed burn time, I'm just going to do the whole burn 
use a little from this core tank and then jettison the engines. I know it's uh, wasting quite a bit of Delta V. No. You know what? I'm Now I'm changing my mind. I think I can set up Flight Computer to get it all done um, at the same, like, do the burn and jettison the tanks at the correct time. I'm hoping. Let's, let me just focus in here and see where this node is taking us. Oh, yep. Yeah. Perfect. Um, hmm. I actually wonder if maybe I want to come in on the other side of Venus. Because when we go to leave, we're going to want to burn on the nighttime side of Venus to uh, return to Earth. Which means I probably want my periapsis over here. Well, let's uh, let's make some corrections then. Hmm. Oh boy, right on the Terminator. <laughs> right between the day-nighttime side. That's not ideal. Yeah, I guess that's where it was on the other side, too. Dang. Dang, Gina. All right. Well, we're, we're going to run with that. I am just going to try to bring it... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I should be using... Maneuver node adjuster for this instead of just wiggling my mouse around like an idiot. But I'm here. All right, we're probably not going to be that accurate anyway. So let's just uh, go ahead and time warp these couple of days. We'll get ourselves to within an, a couple of hours, and I'll set up flight computer to do the staging action. So what's our total burn time? Seven minutes and 22 seconds just on those lateral tanks. Man, really? Really? That's so not worth it. Man, I can't believe it's going to take seven minutes to burn all that. That just doesn't sound right to me. All right, we can put away Kerbal Alarm Clock. We are 16 minutes out from the node. All right, so let's just figure the whole burn itself is going to take about eight minutes. means we need to start at the four minute mark. Oh, I hate doing math in my head. So you know what, I'm just going to hit uh, seven mic. 22 seconds, set that as our delay, and then when I start the burn, I'll just hit the staging button immediately. Yeah, our delay is only about 70 seconds, so it shouldn't be a huge ordeal. Okay, I was going to say for half a second there, my RCS wasn't responding, but it was KSB in general that was not responding, not just uh, this. And I do have this set up with a target. Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay, so really we just need to warp to about the four-minute mark, and then we can go ahead and get this underway. Do, do, do. Four minutes, 23 seconds. That sounds good. Let's just go ahead and ullage it in. Oh, I haven't even activated the engine. Oh, no. Ah, oh, the delay! Dang it! Zero. Activate engine. <laughs> Cancel that command. Set delay for 7 mic 22, Sam. And wait for our engine to turn on. Man, how did I miss that? Oh. All right, engine is on. I'll it in. Ignition. Staging event. And just to make sure, let's unlock our core here. Fantastic. And we are draining lateral tanks. 
We're going to be a little behind on the node, so we are going to have to make a correction, but that's not a... I don't know. It's not a huge deal, I don't think. I think we'll have more than enough to get to where we're going. Uh, tell me this tank is still locked. Tell me this tank is a tank. Oh. Uh, it is. It is, in fact, a tank, and it is, in fact, locked. Excellent. Okay. First time I launched this uh, thing when it accidentally went to Mars, two of these tanks didn't even have any fuel in them. They were just dead weight the whole time. I think. I think that was this mission. That was a long time ago. So, I duly apologize. And Wow, yeah, this burn is going to take seven minutes. So, we're just going to go ahead and speed this up. Or not. Because it won't let me do more than two times time warp. That's fantastic. Alright, well... You guys don't have to sit through it. I can speed this up for you guys in post. I'm just going to sit here and twiddle my thumbs. Alright, I am aborting the burn. I'm canceling that stage command. Oh, it's going to get there just in the nick of time. Because uh, our course was moving away. We are actually increasing our uh, periapsis. So uh, this will need to be replotted, obviously. So uh, well, let's onset target and then set target. Is it going to give me? Nope. It will give me an ascending node, but that's way over there. If we were to half our orbit, that would be back there somewhere. So it looks like our node is at our ascending node proper, but I'm going to have to replot this to uh, try to correct this. So give me just a few minutes here. I'll try not to bore you with all the details. All right, well, MechJeb, saving the day, uh, getting this corrective measure in our uh, very low periapsis of 38 kilometers. We will adjust that up, obviously, for aero capture. Will only cost us 76.2 meters per second in about 53 days. And unfortunately, we've got a few other things to attend to between now and then. Thank God we did not ditch our tanks, but uh, we're probably going to have to before we make aero capture anyway because that throws our weight balance way off it puts our center of mass down here somewhere instead of up here somewhere where we would like it but the savings in delta v will not go unnoticed but these will not survive aero capture we're going to have to burn them off probably uh assist in a propulsive capture which will lighten the load here on our heat shield thankfully and make that not such a risky maneuver maybe we can come in a little higher than i initially planned for maybe we can i don't think we'll be able to spare uh some at least uh aero break assisted capture on this just because we would like to save as much of that delta v for our return leg as humanly possible uh, i'm not sure how much we have after we jettison the tanks but i'm sure it's in the 3k range we should be well more than enough, and that's just in this bottom stage. We've got another about 1,400 meters per second or so in the uh, return vessel itself. Uh, even more, the more of this uh, heat shield that we get rid of. We don't need all of it for uh, our return uh, aero capture at Earth and deorbit and such. But... Um, yeah, so I guess we're just going to have to wait another 53 days. I was going to set up Kerbal Alarm Clock before I forget. Uh, we do have a few other things to get to, but all of those will uh, have to be in the next episode. I'm sorry this one was so short. I've got some B-roll I can run for you if uh, if you're interested in some of the things I've been doing uh, off-camera lately. So uh, I guess I'll throw some of that stuff in there. Have a cookie. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it, and I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.